Fiona Beale bowed her head as she was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 20 years. The 50-year-old admitted murdering her partner of 17 years in Northampton in 2021. The beach behind me on a bank holiday Saturday would normally be packed, but as you can see, it's completely deserted behind a police cordon as officers continue their inquiries after they were called here just before quarter to midnight last night. The Department for Health have told us that they're working to improve the supply of antibiotics and they're encouraging everyone who can to get vaccinated against whooping cough. We are, as you say, in the midst of the biggest outbreak of the disease in more than a decade. Five babies have died and there are three times the number of cases that there were last year. The Metropolitan Police have arrested two people after that footage emerged from Just Stop Oil showing the two elderly women um, using a hammer and a sharp implement to try and break the glass of the cabinet containing Magna Carta. The Prime Minister's pledge to stop the boats is one of the government's key priorities, promising hundreds of millions of pounds to France to disrupt the people smugglers helping migrants to enter the UK illegally. The Home Office says it'll do whatever it takes to put an end to these perilous and sometimes fatal journeys. 30% of those expecting to receive their child benefit payments today, that's half a million people, haven't had them and it's still not clear when they'll have them. It's a grey day here at Marylebone Station and it's a grey day for commuters. They've endured a year and a half of strikes from ASLEF members and today train drivers from five rail operators have voted overwhelmingly to continue that industrial action for a further six months. Well, the protesters here don't appear to be going anywhere just yet and they haven't complied with police demands to shut off their speakers at 4pm. You can probably hear them still behind me. The fraud allegations being investigated by the Metropolitan Police relate to the large sums post office workers were forced to pay after faulty accounting software made it look like the money was missing from their books. To date, it's still not clear where this excess cash went. A record number of new bathing sites in England, but I'll be telling you why there's still cause for caution. His wife said that the last five days of not knowing what had happened to him were unbearable and she's thanked everybody who helped to finally find him. If, like me, your fridge is full of Christmas leftovers and is stuffed at the moment, this is even more important. As many as 560 million customers have had their details stolen by a group calling themselves Shiny Hunters. Names, addresses, phone numbers and partial credit card details are now up for sale on the dark web. The cheapest formula on the market is £9.39 now a box. That's 34% more than the £6.99 it was two years ago. Now obviously there are a lot of details that are going to need to be hammered out by the lawyers ahead of another vote expected in June at the Premier League's annual general meeting. But after the players' union said that they would oppose a hard cap on wages, there are likely to be some financial fireworks in football in the coming weeks.